game day at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. It's five hours to tip off, and Golden Eagles players begin to arrive for pregame shoot around. <laughs> for team manager Daniel Madhava Palil, his work began nearly seven hours ago. For me, it started at 6 a.m. I had to pick up breakfast or breakfast for the for the guys, and then after that we took all we went we took all the stuff to the Bradley Center, um, just kind of all our supplies for game days, because we, we don't obviously we don't play on campus, so it's kind of it's kind of like a road game in, in a sense. Uh, so the balls and the water and the coolers for uh, for, for the Providence to shoot around. After that, kind of uh, just went to class, came back, and then came over here, kind of set up for our shoot around. Daniel is one of 10 managers for the men's basketball team. He and Anthony Ball are the lone seniors. We don't really have a set routine or a set schedule with anything we do here. Um, there are things that we do in sort of a more regimented fashion, but a lot of what we do is if a coach needs something, if a player or administrator or anyone needs anything, um, we're just here to help make sure that everything goes smoothly. There's a long list of things to get ready on game day and each manager has responsibilities. So during shooting around, we'll just kind of make sure that, that everything's where, where, where it needs to be as far as they do the coaches and players have the balls for, for drills. So where we kind of show up is kind of after, after shooting around as well and the guys work out and get extra work in so they can get ready for the game. But after shoot around and after the guys get their extra shots in, they'll go in for, the, for a pregame meal, which is typically four hours before the game. And then after that, uh, two of the managers will take the players back to their dorms um, so they can relax a little bit. And then, and then we'll go into the locker room, set up jerseys, warm-ups, uh, shoes, and all that stuff. And after that, we'll set up the, uh, the bench with the, with the boards, towels, water, um, as well as the timeout chairs. Once the locker room is cleaned up and uniforms prepped for the team, the managers switch from pregame to game three, mode. One, two, three, four, five, eight. They're on the floor rebounding and shagging balls for warm-ups. When the game starts, some of them are at the Al McGuire Center. Others record video feeds in the arena. Hey! Job, Luke. Daniel and Anthony squeeze onto the Marquette bench. During the game, I, uh, I sit on the bench with uh, some of the other managers. And during media timeouts, I run to the scoring table and I make sure that we have the same amount or the right amount of subs in to the other team so that during the media timeout our coaches can go over lineups um, and matchups. Game days are a lot of work and these guys are at every practice as well, balancing their role as a team manager with the usual work of a college student. But they know it's a great opportunity. For me, like I wanted to coach, so uh, especially doing all like the film stuff, I get to learn a lot of the more behind the scenes and also with the stuff that the players do on the court. So I'll, I mean, players trust me a lot where they, they trust me to put them through workouts and drills, especially at night. And I mean, it's, it's a good opportunity for me to learn and for the players to get better. I love basketball my whole life. My uh, dad was a high school coach back in Indiana for girls basketball. And uh, I figured, you know, a good way to stay active would be managing in college. My freshman year has kind of worked my way into it. Uh, there was a trial period, and then as you got older, you start getting more responsibilities and uh, getting to work in practice, and then traveling and game day. So it's fun. It's a family in a sense. I mean, to, to be honest, like you're you're with them more than your family, your friends. Um, you're, you're, li you're living at the Al McGuire Center, basically. That's your that's that's your home. Um, and then it's just, it's, it's an honor, it's special to be part of something that's bigger than yourself. I mean, when you, when you can say that, that's, you know, you know it's special. So that's kind of why we do it. Um, we do it, I mean, because, you know, we love the game, we love helping people, we love to learn. 